An inmate is suing the sheriff and a deputy after being burned in, hot, in a hot shower. Yeah, officials say there was some sort of mechanical failure with the water valve that exceeded the standard temperatures. But as our Matthew Torres uncovered, this had been a known issue for days before the incident. Matthew is here in the studio with us. What's the latest on this? Well, we're getting this new information because tonight we've actually obtained new records that show the county was aware of issues with the water valve days before the inmate was burned. We want to warn you, some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing. No, please, please, no! For 45 seconds, attorneys say Richard Piland was kept in this hot shower, suffering burns and blisters to his arm. Deputies had just pepper sprayed his cell after he covered his window with toothpaste and refused to comply with orders. Out of safety, jail officials say they needed to get him out, strapping him to a chair after he resisted going to a different shower to wash away the spray. This happened on February 4th last year in the medical ward of the Loudoun County Adult Detention Center. Officials say there was a mechanical failure with the water valve that exceeded temperatures beyond the accepted 110 degrees. In our recent sit-down interview, Sheriff Mike Chapman says his department immediately gave medical attention. The county's what? general services in charge of maintenance quickly replaced the equipment. Our deputies had no idea that there was any kind of an issue with the with the water there. This was a matter of, uh, of a mechanical malfunction. That's what it was. So in this case, you don't think this could have been prevented? No, I, we, we wouldn't have known. WSA 9 obtained three work orders from the jail to general services indicating there were water issues within two weeks before the incident. On January 22nd, the note says inmates state the water in the cells and shower in the medical are way too hot. General services then made adjustments, but days later there was another order saying inmates have complained that the hot water in the medical inmate shower is too hot and can cause burns. It does not appear that the previous adjustment was sufficient. General Services inspected the valve and made adjustments again two days before Pylant was burned. We assume that uh, that these things are working uh, properly and functioning properly. Uh, in this particular case, it was not. The sheriff denies deputies intentionally harmed Pylant. The 22-year-old inmate has recently filed a lawsuit for $7 million, claiming he was tortured. He was in jail for more than two years for a sexual assault charge. Sheriff says he was cited for assaulting several deputies and a nurse before. But his family argues he suffers from mental health issues. All right, so now in a statement, the sheriff's office saying the work order showed the valve was inspected and repaired two days before. Deputies had no reason to believe the shower was operating improperly when Pyland was brought there. Pyland was just recently moved to a new jail three and a half hours away. And a representative for General Services, which again oversees the valves, not the sheriff's office, tells me although there is no requirement for them to routinely inspect the valves, they're installing additional equipment that would monitor the water temperature. So no requirement before, but there may be a requirement now. We'll, we'll see. All right, Matthew, thank you. We'll stay on top of this case. And again, to read more of Matthew's reporting, you can go to WUSA9.com or our free mobile app.